Our next speaker is Chi Ho Kong from the National University of Singapore, NUS, Breaking the Wall of Fragility Fractures. Time is unstoppable, and aging is inevitable. Above 50 years of age, 35% of women and 20% of men will suffer from fragility fracture in their remaining lifetime. Treatment of aging bone fracture is a difficult wall to surmount. The common risks, uh, common fracture sites are the distal radius, the spine, and the hip. These fractures can lead to uh, major morbidity, decreased mortality, uh, sorry, increased mortality, and it can cause uh, dependency on others. The major risk factor is osteoporosis, defined as low bone mass and microarchitectural deterioration of bone tissue. This is due to high bone turnover, whereby osteoclastic bone resorption is much greater than osteoblastic bone formation. Recently, research has shifted towards looking at the immune profile, such as the macrophages and cytokines, as bone healing starts with the acute inflammation phase. By reducing the inflammation phase, it promotes bone healing. Clinically, we have been using pharmacological agents, such as bisphosphonates and teraparotide. However, they do not come cheap, and they have major side effects, such as osteonecrosis and atypical fractures. On the other hand, traditional Chinese herbal medicine has been used thousands of years. It is safer and it is known to have lesser side effect profile as compared to that of Western medicine. So, Icarin is extracted from Epimedium, a frequently used herb that is known for its osteogenic and anti-inflammatory properties. However, due to its hydrophobic nature, our body does not really absorb it. Hence, we have incorporated the iCarin into our nova strontium-based mesoporous bioactive cast nanoparticle. More importantly, the synergistic effect of iCarin and strontium will increase osteoblastogenesis, leading to bone formation, decrease osteoclastogenesis, and bone resorption. In addition, it reduces inflammation. By injecting these new nanoparticles into the fracture sites locally, we will be able to enhance bone formation, decrease bone resorption, and reduce inflammation, and therefore breaking the wall of fragility fracture. Thank you. Okay, I guess we don't have time for questions, but thank you very much.